So we finished breakfast and now we're going to this scenic drive place by Lake Coeur d'Alene. I'm gonna drive around and look at the area and then find a grocery store, get some groceries for the week, head back to our resort, probably dink around there. And they have like mini golf and a full golf course and stuff like that and then go to Scarywood later on in the evening. So we stopped up here, I don't know, I can't say the top, I have no idea, on this scenic byway to take a look at the view of the lake, Lake Coeur d'Alene, it's so pretty, let me show you guys. Alright guys, so we're actually grocery shopping for the week because we don't want to eat out all the time, it's too expensive. And we found a Safeway, which is perfect because I love Safeway, like I trust Safeway's food. And we also get our Safeway reward points for shopping here, but it's a little bit farther than we wanted to go from our resort. But we were already down here to do like the scenic drive touristy thing. So yeah, we're just going to get some snacks. Do we want anything down there? Yeah, chips for lunch. So we're out of the grocery store and we got food for a week so like breakfast lunch and dinners um it was 182 dollars why that is so expensive Okay guys, so we just got back from the grocery store and put all of our stuff away and I just thought it'd be fun to show you guys like what we got to sustain us for the week because we didn't want to go out like maybe like once a day or once every other day. We didn't want to spend a bunch of money going out to eat because it gets expensive and for a whole week, no. So I'm going to show you guys what we got and I'll start with stuff that is just out on the counter that we didn't have to put in the fridge or cupboards or whatever. So first we got a loaf of bread for sandwiches. He likes ham sandwiches, I like turkey for lunches. Then we got a couple things of wine. This is Firefly Ridge Merlot, it's a 2015. And then the original Smoking Maloon Merlot, it's another 2015. The Merlots were my pick, like I, they were on sale so I got two. And then Doug's pick was this Robert Mondavi Private Selection at Pinot Noir, it's a 2016. And then we got some coffee. Well, Doug drinks it, I don't. This is Bold Reserve Ground Coffee, Costa Rica Terrazu, Dark Roast. Safe with select. And he said something about it being like a, like three or four bucks cheaper than back at home. And then for like our snacks and for lunches, and we're also going on a hike tomorrow. So we have Cheetos for our lunches and beef jerky, some trail mix for the hike, some protein bars, and some peanut butter just in case somebody wants peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Those are always yum. Then we just got some balsamic vinegar, extra virgin olive oil, some steak rubs, we're gonna have some steaks, and salt and pepper. We didn't know if this place included salt and pepper, but they do. Which I like these kitchens because they like have everything you know that you need to cook, except for obviously the groceries. Um, okay, and then in the freezer, we got two steaks, so we're gonna grill up some steaks tomorrow. Uh, pizza because I gotta be lazy one of these nights. And then some chicken thighs. We open the fridge. So we got yogurts for my breakfast, and Doug sometimes has a yogurt. We have wraps because tonight we're having chicken steak, or no, steak for you guys. Got some eggs for breakfast, some spring cheese for my breakfast, some turkey bacon, and here's like the lunch meats for our sandwiches. Doug likes ham and I like turkey. Mushrooms for the chicken, got some milk, soda for Doug, and then this was on sale, and it's like steak for here, so we got that for tonight's dinner. And then down here, oh, the soda makes it too hard to open us. I can't open this because the soda's pressing down on it. Okay, I got it. And this is our vegetable drawer. We have lettuce, onions, and what's hiding here? Cookie dough, egg salad, 
stuff and we need garlic asparagus. And in the door, we've got some salad dressing, which is sweet onion, mustard, and mayonnaise for sandwiches, soy sauce for one dinner, and some jelly, some butter, and some sharp cheddar slices for sandwiches. This Tillamook is the best cheese ever. And that is all of the food we got to last us the week before. So we are on the walking trail. We're about to be on it. This is like kind of more towards the resort. And so we're just, yeah, we're just gonna take this walk and check out the area. It's super pretty. Alright guys, we are on our way to Scarywood Theme Park. It's Silverwood's theme park turned Halloween and it's like one of Travel Channel's like top destinations to visit on Halloween or in October or on Halloween, you know, just to be scared and stuff. And so I'm like, oh, we watched some of the things and I'm like so terrified, but we're gonna do it anyway. So I'm gonna go so I can turn the light off in the car. But yeah. Oh my god, I am not ready. <laughs> So we've made it to the park and it was five dollars for parking this is a huge parking lot i don't even know where the entrance is that's part of the zombie planet attraction and i'm not ready to hear those kinds of sounds i don't even know it's, it's freaking me out doug says he can tell the difference though so here we go oh my god so we're at this little restaurant what is it the high noon, high noon saloon to eat dinner before we go but we just we went through the crypts when we got in here which is one of the scare zones it wasn't too bad not ready So we've gone through the zombie attraction, the Blood Bayou, and next we're going to either Total Darkness or Three Dementia or Caved In.
Oh, it's too bright. Hey guys, we're back from Scarywood. Good night.